Hello everyone. Happy Democracy Day. So today is Wednesday, Gen Talks, and the topic for today is Appreciate Your Leaders. So here's the plan. We ask some people random questions. So come along with us. Hi, Ari. Hi. So today our topic is uh, appreciating our leaders. And I would like to ask you a question. So who is your favorite teacher and how do you show appreciation towards them? My favorite teacher is a teacher called Mr. Larry. He holds the portfolio of my civic teacher. Um, he's a teacher though, so I show my appreciation towards him by relaying his instructions, um, obeying his instructions in class, like when he gives us assignments, classwork. Then when I see him walking down, looking down to a class and he's carrying heavy loads, heavy bags, I walk forward, I help him, I greet him in the morning. Then, like in the case of if I ever miss him, it's him and I see he doesn't have a glass of water with him, I will make sure I get a glass of water, make sure it's comfortable, and make sure I pass the subject well. Then to my colleagues, civic education um, is seen sometimes as a, a very easy subject, but still we, um, people don't really get to know something. So anytime I get information, I make sure to share with my class teachers. So when we get to class, it's a conversation between students and teacher, and not just um, a, sitting, a sitting class where the teacher just stands and talk. Thank you. That's a very nice way to start appreciation to your teachers. I'll see you another time. Bye. Hi, Tewi. Uh, so our topic today is appreciating your leaders. So if you were to be the president of Nigeria, what would be the first thing you're going to do? I haven't given him much thought, but if I were to become the president of Nigeria today, what I would first address would be our problem with electricity. In Nigeria, we major on hydroelectric power, but we have multiple mineral resources. I feel there are other things we can do to help our country in terms of electricity provision. As a lot of industries and firms need electricity to properly function, even though it is not readily available. And um, I also think that we have to address the fact that the several brands that have been in existence, brand A, brand B, brand C, at a place people on, it seems like they're not following what they were supposed to form. Like 20 hours of light from brand A and other, it has not been shown. I feel if I was the president, I would find a way to make that happen. Thank you. Those are very nice ways to improve the nation, and I'm sure you'll be appreciated for that. See you next time. Bye. Joshua, who is your favorite Bible leader? Joshua. What do you love about him then? Was, was very courageous. Are you confident? Yes. For him? Okay. Hello, Dara. Give me one example of a, a someone who you think is a leader. Pastor Yadebui, the general battle. You think you should, someone like him should be appreciated? Yes, he deserves to be appreciated because he has led us according to the word of God and he has such a secret and he didn't seek with, um, about the word of God. Okay, Senior Crystal, what's your own definition of a leader? Okay, so to me, a leader is someone who harnesses the vision of others to achieve a particular goal. So for someone to be a leader, they have to have followers, right? So they have to show a very good example to other people. So people around them and a leader's followers would look up to people. Look for look up for leaders themselves. At for example, we have a very good leader of our church and father our father in law and our mother in law was that Gio. So that Gio is there for to listen to other people, to listen to people's problems, to be there as a spiritual like spiritual person for people to you know, tell their problems, to tell anything that is bothering them. So that the um, that Gio is there to help them get to God and that, to me, the leader is someone that is going to help someone to achieve a goal or whatever they want to do. Thank you. Okay, so how do you feel when you are appreciated by your followers as a council member? Yeah. As a council member, I actually feel that when people appreciate me for my work, it actually gives me motivation that I really want to do more for them. Like, there's that drive that is there. But sometimes when you don't appreciate it, when you do work, you feel that no one actually sees you. When people actually show you, there's that joy, there's a happiness you actually get that you can't just define it. There's no way for it to actually define it, it's just there. And when you get there, you just feel it. That's why whenever people appreciate me, I always do more. 
that's why I noted that one of the people that associate the most. Like, I always want to do more for people, especially for students. Because I consider them as a family, and in a family as a father head, as a council member, I'm basically a father figure for them. So then, in, as a father, I'm meant to provide for them, I'm meant to work for them. Your existence is basically for them. So that makes me want to do more for them, be a better father figure for them, be a better council member for them. That's how I feel when I feel appreciated by others. Okay, so Faith, what are the many ways you can show gratitude? So you can show gratitude through giving arms, thanking them for what they have done for you. You can also give them gifts. You can also give them money if you are, when you are grown up. Uh, you can also show respect to them. Thank you very much. Hi, Yobosa. Hello. I understand you're the president of this college. Oh, yes, I am. So, as a council member, do you get appreciated for what you do? Yes, I do. So, how do you feel when you get appreciated? Well, it pushes me to do more for the school community and enables me to carry my followers along in a joyful manner. And in what ways do you do that? Well, I relay their problems to the management. I ensure that everything's working and I ensure that life is going seamlessly for them while in school. So, it's a pretty interesting job. and tasky by the way but we try our best and we pray to God that God was like college to do better. Thank you for ensuring the smooth running of this college. I'll see you later. Bye. So with the points that we've gathered today, we have come to a conclusion that there are many ways by which you can show appreciation to your teachers. And my own conclusion is that the way you can show appreciation to your teachers is by obeying the rules and regulations they give unto you. Just as in Romans 13 verse 1 to 2 says, All of you must yield to the government rulers. No one rules unless God has given him the power to rule. And no one rules without that power from God. So those who are against the government are really against what God has commanded. And they will bring punishments on themselves. Thank you guys for being with us. My name is Enora Bangali and happy Democracy Day. Bye-bye.